drug trafficking, a conspiracy conviction, murder accusations. The life of Hells Angels Motorcycle Club founder Sonny Barger was full of stuff most of us have only seen on TV. Sonny Barger was born in Modesto, California on October 8, 1938. From an early age, his life was filled with turmoil. TMZ reports that when Barger was only four months old, his mother abandoned him and his alcoholic father was left to raise him. According to the Daily Mail, the family later moved to Oakland sometime when he was still a child. During his school years, Barger began to get into trouble. At one point, he was suspended after an altercation with a teacher. Barger decided to drop out of school in the 10th grade and join the Army. Considering that he was only 16, he provided the Army with a forged birth certificate, TMZ reports. A year later, he was caught and Barger was honorably discharged. In his autobiography, Hell's Angel, A Life and Times of Sonny Barger and the Hell's Angels Motorcycle Club, he wrote that he established the Oakland chapter of the Hell's Angels not long after returning home. Prior to this, Barger had joined his first motorcycle club in 1956. However, he opted to start his own as he said he felt no brotherhood in the group. The Independent notes that Barger had formed the Oakland Hells Angels by 1957 and became the organization's impromptu leader. There were already Hells Angels chapters in other California cities, so Barger decided that it was best that each chapter of the group be affiliated with each other and function under the same rules. Well, I should say the notoriety started after I got in the club. <laughs> Far Out Magazine reports that the Hells Angels and Barger have long been accused of promoting a lifestyle that is riddled with crime and debauchery. As The Independent explains, Barger quickly became infamous for his tough guy persona and his run-ins with the law. In his 1989 book, Hells Angels, Three Can Keep a Secret If Two Are Dead, author Eve Levine writes that 29-year-old Servio Winston Aguero was shot dead and his house was set on fire after selling the group bad drugs. The New York Post reports that in 1972, Barger and three other members of the Hells Angels were acquitted of his killing. According to the Daily Mail, Barger has faced a slew of other legal issues. In 1979, he was charged with violating the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Barger was acquitted. He's been involved in several notorious incidents, including the death of a man at a 1969 Rolling Stones concert. Held at the Altamont Speedway in California, the band hired the Hells Angels for security. The group resorted to violence when they were unable to control disorderly fans. Ultimately, this resulted in one Hell's Angel stabbing a concert goer to death. According to Reuters, when the Rolling Stones considered canceling the rest of their show, Barger reportedly pulled a gun on the group. The New York Post writes that despite being acquitted twice, Barger did go to prison for other crimes. In 1973, he was convicted on drug charges. In Angels of Death, Inside the Biker Gang's Crime Empire, Julian Shear and William Marston write that Barger was sent to Folsom State Prison. He was released in 1977. In 1987, Barger was arrested after an FBI raid found weapons and explosives. The AP reports that after a 12-week trial, Barger and other Hells Angels members were found guilty of conspiracy. Prosecutors argued that they were planning an act of retribution in Louisville, Kentucky. Former Hells Angels member George Christie explained, Tony said there's going to be collateral damage. And Sonny said, I know, but it's worth it. According to the Daily Mail, Barger and the Hells Angels wanted revenge for the death of fellow member John Cleek Webb. According to the New York Post, the authorities contend that the explosives would be used to kill, maim, or threaten. Barger was also convicted of stealing a government manual. Despite his conviction, he told the Associated Press, I think it was a devastating blow to the government, and I couldn't be happier with the verdict, except if I had been found innocent myself. In Angels of Death, Schur and Marston write that Barger spent 59 months in prison in Phoenix, Arizona, and was released in 1992. According to Angels of Death, Barger undoubtedly abetted the Hells Angels with the creation of a booming drug business. Barger and other members were heavy drug users themselves. When he was charged with racketeering, he admitted, according to the book Hell's Angels, Three Can Keep a Secret if Two Are Dead, that he used and sold drugs, including heroin. However, he noted that these were his personal affairs and did not represent the rest of the Hell's Angels. I was saying, we're not guilty of everything that people read about us. The New York Times reported that Barger was charged with racketeering in the first place because it was believed that he and the Angels were trafficking drugs. Although he was acquitted, the New York Times writes that Barger was later charged with possessing heroin and cocaine. In his autobiography, he acknowledges that drug use in the group was rampant. Barger wrote, I snorted so much coke I didn't know what I was doing from one moment to the next. Moreover, he blamed his cocaine addiction for his legal troubles. He added, My cocaine mood swings got me into a lot of deep criminal shit and would ultimately land me in Folsom Prison. Barger died of liver cancer on June 29, 2022, but he had been battling various cancers for a long time. Distractify reports that he was first diagnosed with throat cancer back in 1982. The Daily Mail reports that he had to have his vocal cords removed. According to his autobiography, he lost the ability to talk due to the surgery. 
A hole was made in his throat to allow him to speak. This resulted in a rough and growly voice. It's believed his throat cancer stemmed from Barger smoking three packs of Camel cigarettes daily for 30 years. Somebody asked me a while back, what's the best thing that ever happened to you? And I said, I woke up this morning. According to Us Magazine, in 2010, Barger was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Barger recovered after his prostate was removed. Besides being a Hell's Angel, Deadline writes that Barger was also an actor and starred in a few episodes of Sons of Anarchy. Additionally, Barger wrote several books about his life and adventures with the Hell's Angels. After his death, he released a goodbye message on his Facebook that read, Keep your head up high, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor. According to TMZ, Barger is survived by his wife, Serana.